Watch me here. had this vision of climbing up the farthest side of the cave, up the Northwest Passage route, and climbing the entire lip of the cave. And it makes the roof roughly three times longer than any other roof route that was in the cave. So it would be kind of the next progression in uh, this cave here for difficult route climbing. Joe Wagner and I recently came up and finally made it happen. We spent a few days bolting a link up between the Northwest Passage route and you finally finish up a route called Shamrock Monkeys that goes out the farthest silhouetted draws of the cave. Um, this route goes on all natural uh, seams, crack features, um, ledges that are formed, which is pretty rare for difficult roof climbing, for mixed climbing. Uh, it makes for some tenuous hold placements and some scary movements. Uh, you never really know if rock is coming down or if your hold is going to stay on the wall. Um, so this route is really a full <laughs> adventure route as far as mixed climbing goes. Cool. Well, I guess um, it's time to clamber. It. Thanks. <laughs> All right. As usual, I might fall at the start. So, <laughs> okay. The first and most major crux in the route actually happens roughly in the first third of it um, on the first few cable draws in the roof. The initial hold that starts the crux sequence is a small, small, tiny crack that you get no more than two millimeters of pick purchase on. Any movement outwards, your tool will pop, so you have to be very still getting onto this. Once you flip your leg into a figure four, you then have to go into what I would consider the major crux of the route, which is engaging a tool into an upside down stein pull where you can't see if the beak purchases onto the rock. The only way to know is when you grab the first position handle and you pull outwards, the tool will flex and engage over the rock, locking the tool into place. Once you've gotten this, you have to move your body and orientate with your feet on the rock to lean backwards and make the next move, which finishes the crux into a blind pocket on a loose block. Once you get a good shake out here, you're gonna continue along good natural pockets and features, hopefully to the end of the route, climbing up the rock face now that the ice is melted away. Watch me here. Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> one more move and then it's chill. <laughs> Thanks, oh. new high point. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Check. Um, yeah, that was probably attempt number um, six of solid goes on the route. And so far it's been pretty big leaps and bounds and like moves gain. So today I gained three moves from yesterday, which in a roof route like this is quite a bit. So um, yeah, definitely stoked that progress is being made every attempt. I think the beta is getting more dialed in and it's getting smoother, um, especially in this later section when the fatigue is hitting. So now just being able to stay relaxed and loosen the grip um, so it can hang on just until I get feet back on, I think will be, yeah, that'll be the key to finishing the route, so.
Stoked. <laughs> Got it. Ah! <laughs> hold that I'm using luckily it's really bomber the downside is it's bending the picks really bad so I'm gonna try to hammer that back in the shape for the next go all right it's about as straight as it's gonna get climbing with a wonky beak for the rest of the day but hopefully <laughs> it should hold if it hasn't snapped it's most likely knock on wood not gonna snap for this part so you're like oh i mangled my pinky you're like blood blistered oh shit blood blistered out mm. <laughs> last you know hail mary attempt of like trying to crank it out before work When it popped, I like felt dead arm to this arm, but it was like nervy through my like neck and down through my arm. It's like, I think it just probably like sucked it, you know, a little bit, but yeah. So I don't know. I hit the, <laughs> I messed up a lot of beta. I was pretty tired on that. I don't know. We'll see if hopefully we can get back up here before the road closes <laughs> and try it again. is kind of real because today is the final day the road is open to come up here um had a heartbreaking fall right before the finish last time so yeah hoping it'll go today yeah side effects of the vaccine are wearing off so push through that and, yeah nice and snug through okay all yeah good. those are like reminders like breathe loose grip like that's also helpful okay. so um i got you all right uh climbing Right, climb on. Stop. Climb. <laughs> this is where he gets pretty nervous, so I'm trying to keep a close eye on him because I know that this is kind of a precarious section, trying to be there if something were to happen and he were to fall soon and uh, knowing that we have a pretty big weight difference so um, it would be a hard catch in those moments close to the ground and as he continues up clipping really quickly so trying to not short rope him in those moments and as he continues through the roof it gets harder and harder for him but it gets a little bit easier for me in the sense that the blaying is pretty slow uh, and I don't have to give quite as much rope as I do when he's close to the ground. And so that's kind of when my job turns into a moment of helping him keep calm, especially as he gets through the crux and trying to, trying to keep my emotions contained to help kind of keep his emotions contained all the way through the route.
Take some slack in, please. Zach! Keep me a little snug here. There we go. Okay, take. <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks. Ah, oh, stoked. All right. All right. You can lower. Wow, the rope. <laughs> Stoked. The rope drag was heinous. <laughs> cool. Yeah, what stoked. Thanks. Yeah, Appreciate buddy. it. Huh. All right. Happy last day in highlight, everyone. This is good. <laughs>